Yo, what's up guys? It's Michael. I'm back with a new video here today. So right now, I got this really, really good idea. I don't know like how I got it, but I just thought of it in my head and I was like, damn, I could do that right now and it would look sick. So I hope it's gonna be a really dope picture. Then I might go to TwitchCon. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog there, but I'm definitely gonna go there. Let's get it. Alright, so you might be like, Michael, why did you just park in a random ass parking lot in the middle of nowhere, it looks like? I can explain that. And I can also explain why I'm walking up a random hill that also looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. We're not in the middle of nowhere. So let me show you where I'm at, bro. This is the dockyard. This is literally the shipping yard. Like, everything in LA gets shipped from there, and there's so much shit everywhere. Can you guys see the moon over there? I don't know if you can see it. I think I'm gonna take this picture right here, and I can see my car perfectly. So if anybody tows me, oh, no, 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 it's not fucking happening. What I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna take a picture of myself I thought about this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a tripod and then put it out here and then like just stand over there that's just what you do when you don't have photographer friend that's just what you do so it's gonna be lit let's do it and also I'm gonna switch to my 70 to 200 because I'm gonna use that for the picture just because it would give a better effect look at that yo you can see the whole moon in this camera right now wait that's more than I can see with my eyes we're gonna take some pictures of this for sure <laughs> All right, yo, I don't know if you can see me right now. I'm done taking all those pictures. I took a bunch of them. The moon actually looks so sick. Like, fuck. I love the moon, bro. I want to go to the moon one day. That would be lit. I'm tripping. <laughs> yo, so I was just driving around, and I noticed these, like, random-ass light things on the street. So I parked at this auto zone, and I was like, okay, I'm going to take a few pictures while I'm here, because I don't even know what to do today. Hopefully, my car doesn't get towed from auto zone, too. All right, that was a successful little picture trip. I don't know why I did that. This auto zone kind of saved my life by being here with this parking lot. So shout out auto zone. This place is kind of sketchy. I'm going to dip. <laughs> So as you can tell, I'm kind of chilling in the desert, in a safe environment. I actually came into the middle of this road for a reason. So today's date is October 22nd, and what that means is it's almost exactly two years since I started, like, actually taking pictures. And what I did on, like, the first day that I ever got my camera, which is, like, the day that I started, I went on Google and I tried to find cool places to take pictures. And I don't know why, but, like, I really wanted to go to some abandoned shit. So I looked up, like, abandoned stuff in Los Angeles. And somehow while trying to find abandoned places, I actually found this spot on Google. I found like a picture of this place and then I figured out where it was and then I actually like drove into the desert try and shoot and take pictures there. You see that moon? It's back again just like yesterday. It's actually the craziest thing I've seen like in person too. You could literally see the dark part of the moon. I, I've never seen that in my life. I jumped over the little dirt patch and now I'm at this little abandoned house. This is a cool memory to relive. This is the third time I've been here. Basically the first time I've ever been here it was like the first day I ever started taking pictures. I came here and I took like a random one. I didn't even think creatively back then. I was just like Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this and it would be fine so I took the picture and I went to Starbucks n nearby and then I edited it in Starbucks And then I went and posted the picture that was my day two years ago and now I'm back But yeah, yo, this is the house. I'm gonna explore it a little bit So we're in it now so now we're here at the side of the house This is kind of the ghetto part of the house I guess you no know, not much to do at this side But in the back here there's a big open area We've got all of this yard space over here So that you can probably build like a basketball court or something maybe another little house just like this You could just build another house right there. Yeah, that's the back we're gonna continue along the outside of this house and we're gonna go back We're gonna go back to this side and this side is a little unique because there's a big ass potted plant right here And it's kind of overgrowing it might take over the rest of the house Hopefully it doesn't so I mean if it does and I might need to call my gardener just bullshit uh, But anyway, there's a bunch of these little houses everywhere like there's one down the road over there I can literally see one. Oh shit. I can see one of these little abandoned houses They're everywhere out here, but I actually came here for a reason though I didn't just come here to show you this dope ass house. I came because I wanted to take take a picture just to like commemorate that it's been two years since I started and that I came here. Maybe I'll make that like a yearly thing. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually probably Photoshop this big potted plant out of the picture and then I'm going to make it look like this side and then I'm going to add this cool effect. I just need to take a few test shots with me spinning a light. I'm going to use my iPhone flashlight to like spin. I'm going to take a long exposure picture and when I do that it's going to actually give this effect of like a vortex looking thing. If I spin the light enough times while the picture is being taken it actually looks so sick. So I have the tripod set up here. Right now, I'm actually gonna set up this camera on like a 30 second exposure. Then I'm actually gonna run around the house with my iPhone light. I'm gonna try and make it work right now. Hopefully it does. Yeah, leave a like. Oh yeah, presets are 20% off. Get them now while you can. <laughs> Thank you.
Yo, what's up guys, it's Michael. Um, I just wanted to talk for a second, sit down in front of the camera and explain how life has become like so weird. When I started this, like I didn't think that it would turn into a career. Like I just wanted to do photography because it was cool. It was like a way for me to have a creative outlet, which I, I was never creative before. It was cool to finally be able to make something of my own, something I've never done before. So it was really cool. The passion for it is something I've never had. I've never had a passion. Photography is the first thing I've ever actually liked. I never liked school. I never liked working. Ever since the first day, ever since the time that I went to that abandoned house for the first time and like took all those pictures, that's when I knew that I wanted to do this for a while. I didn't know how long it would last. I didn't know how long I'd like it for. I didn't think I'd like it for this long. And I didn't think I'd keep liking it. Photography has not gotten old to me and I don't think it will for a while. You guys who have been following me for a long time, first of all, thank you for that. Like, you guys know my life story and all about me probably better than I do. Everybody who has been watching since, like, the New York days and stuff, I know all of you. You know who you are, so thank you. For everyone else who might have just came across this channel and my pictures and myself, like, recently, I hope you stick around. Thanks for, like, watching. Photography literally changed my life. Photography took me to so many insane places. I've done crazy things, went on crazy trips. I've met so many cool people just because of taking pictures. I didn't think anything like this would ever happen when I started. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, I really have no idea. I just know that if you keep working at something, no matter what, it's gonna eventually pay off and work out, so keep going with your dreams. Because if you're not okay with the way things are going in your life, it's never too late to change it. And I hope you guys find what you want to do in life and stick to it. Be passionate about it. And if you work hard enough, there's no way it can go wrong. And there's been some bad experiences, some crazy times, but like, I wouldn't change any of it. And I'm excited for the future too, hopefully it leads to more cool opportunities and stuff. I hope you stick around. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more videos, peace out.